What's up guys, welcome back. The kids are back in school and that means we don't have time to be slaving over the stove for hours. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this fantastic 30 minute dinner. This is my recipe for chicken teriyaki. But before we get into that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's prep these chicken thighs. These are boneless, skinless thighs that we got from our local store. They're also organic for those of you that care about that. We're gonna go ahead and cut them into about half inch pieces or so, whatever feels right, something like that. You can trim as much of this fat off as you want, but personally, I think that the fat adds a lot of flavor, you know, prevents the chicken from drying out as well. So I'm gonna leave most of that on, unless some's just kind of hanging off to the side, then we'll trim that up. But that's about the size pieces you want, like this piece right here, we might can get rid of that. There we go. Just trim the chicken up to the, you know, your desired size and thickness. Now, speaking of the kids being back in school, chicken teriyaki is typically a fan favorite amongst the young ones, especially when I was, you know, coming up and we would stop by the mall, grabbing that chicken teriyaki from the mall was an epic thing for me as a kid. But now you can make it at home in 30 minutes or less. Probably a lot healthier too. All right, my friends, as you can see, we have two pounds of chicken thighs that we've gone ahead and chopped up into about an inch, maybe half inch or so size pieces. We're gonna season it up with my all purpose seasoning. You could also just use a little salt and pepper here. I would recommend something that's low sodium, which this is, because there is quite a bit of sodium in the teriyaki sauce. We are losing, using low sodium soy sauce to kind of combat that a little bit. But I mean, teriyaki is gonna have a, a decent amount of sodium in it no matter what you use. So don't go too crazy on the salt when you go to season your chicken. So today we're using a low sodium all purpose seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, things like that. Now, as promised, this recipe can be put together in 30 minutes or less. So with that being said, we're using frozen broccoli today. We're just gonna pop that right in the microwave and then toss it in with our chicken and our teriyaki sauce. Nice little veggie to add to the party. We're gonna plate that up over some white rice. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to cook. We'll show you how to do that too. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and prep the garlic. We've got one, two, three, four, five cloves of garlic. Give it a little whack to smash them. And then we'll dice them up or mince them up, and that's gonna go into our teriyaki. All right, my friends, it's time to make a very simple teriyaki sauce. For that, we're gonna need one quarter cup of brown sugar, a half cup of low sodium soy sauce, preferably, we're gonna go in with about a half teaspoon of sesame oil. This stuff packs a punch, so don't go too crazy with it. Then we need some garlic and ginger paste. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. There's the ginger. Come on, there we go. I might as well use the rest of it, right? Also gonna add about a tablespoon or so of rice wine vinegar. Some chicken bouillon powder to amplify the flavor. A little MSG to taste. Then break out the whisk and mix to combine. Depending on the consistency you're looking for, you may need to add a slurry to this, which is just cold water and cornstarch. We'll do that once it's, you know, in the, in the pot, you know, getting heated up. But right now we're just gonna mix this to combine and have it ready to add to our chicken. Next up, it's time to sear our chicken. So we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of avocado oil to our pot or pan, whatever you decide to use. Cast iron skillet will get the job done as well. 
just enough oil to coat the bottom of the skillet. Then we're gonna add our chicken in there, brown it up nicely until it's fully cooked, which is 165 degrees internal temperature, and then remove the chicken. All right guys, so you might wanna work in batches, that way you don't overcrowd your skillet. But you wanna get a nice color on your chicken like this right here. Flip it over, show the other side the same love and attention. It's gonna add flavor, texture, and obviously color. Right, that is our second batch of chicken thighs coming out of the pot. One wasn't ready to leave. Now my friends, right into that same pot, we're gonna add plenty of garlic. We got this on low, we don't want it to burn up too quickly. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in our broccoli real quick. Good way to sneak in some veggies for the kids. And then in goes that fantastic teriyaki sauce that we made. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer, allow it to reduce a little bit and thicken up. If we need to add the slurry, we will, which it looks like we might need it. Game time decision on that. Just let that garlic cook. The broccoli's already cooked, but we we'll want it to get some of that flavor from the teriyaki. And then once the sauce comes together, we'll add the chicken back to the party and let that finish. Plate that up over the white rice. You got yourself a 30 minute dinner. All right, so as you can see, we got a nice simmer going. Starting to reduce just a little bit. We are gonna go ahead and add in that slurry. Again, guys, just cold water and cornstarch. About two or three tablespoons of cornstarch. And about a half cup of water. As soon as that gets in there, you'll notice that it'll start to thicken up nicely. Just give that a mix. chicken and any accumulated juices because no flavor left behind. Now we're going to toss that all together in that teriyaki sauce. Allow everything to come together and then we're going to plate this up. Quick and easy and delicious. You guys have seen me do this trick a million times but just put some oil or cooking spray in one of these small bowls you have yourself a nice mound of white rice. Like so. And then we're gonna take our teriyaki chicken and broccoli. Let's plate that up right along the front there. 30 minute meal. Let me know in the comments if the kids like chicken teriyaki. I know I did when I was young. Nice and sweet, sneaking in some broccoli on them. Don't get better than that. A little multicolored sesame seeds for presentation purposes. Then a little chives, cause why the hell not? This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. And the only thing left to do is get in there for a taste test. But before I do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. And now, my friends, it is time for the moment of truth. Let's get some of this rice down there in that sauce. There we go. We'll skip the broccoli for now. 